It's Wednesday. We'll solve the puzzle. Let's do it. The New York Times Wednesday crossword puzzle. Let's solve this thing, shall we? All right. Reunited to perform as holograms. Is that... Uh, and the Beatles would have been reunited, but that's not four letters. So I don't know. ABBA, Hell's Half Whole, I think, is in Wyoming. I don't know. Chromosomes come in pairs. All right, let's go down. Survey says on the survey, uh, Vanguard's opposite is the rear. Vanguard's the front. Uh, about in re, in regards to date book data, I'm not sure. Uh, carbonara or puttanesca would be penne. Penne's could be pastas. Uh, maybe pastas. Grinding teeth sounds like apnea. So let's go with pastas. All right. Crazen brand is ocean spray. Ooh, we have bodies of water maybe for the theme. Female scholars. I don't know. Um, smallish batteries are double A's. Date book data are appointments. Aha. Almost adjoining nearby, near to, near, nearer, my God, to the Hirsut cousin of old TV. It was cousin it on the on the Adams family. Monsters, Adams family, they blend together. So this is near to. Abbreviated, abbreviated, abbreviated abbreviation, etc. Uh, I don't know. Components of Mars Viking and Pathfinder. Um, those are those are the uh, those are those are satellites. It's Viking, Viking was a long landers maybe. Um, that, I don't know. Did Viking ever land? I don't know. Pathfinder did. Um, it had rover. Pathfinder had rovers. Viking didn't. Okay. Danger for a mariner. I think. I'm not sure. It would be a reef, maybe. Abbreviate. Oh, abbreviated abbreviation. How about at all? Goes with etc. Oh, uh, this doesn't look right. Hell's half half acre. I think is it. Hell's half acre. Okay. Result of some spinning. A cocoon. Like the caterpillar spins a cocoon. Egyptian sun god is Amon Ra. Uh, Swiss mathematician who f uh, functional notation is Leonard Euler. Uh, lead into zone be the Eurozone. Was this queen of letters? Female scholars? No. Women of letters. Um, and they put them together to form words and paragraphs. All right, women of letters. Our best effort is your A-game. Got to bring your A-game. Uh, pro bono. If you're a big fan of Sonny, you are pro bono. <laughs> okay. Um, explode is, I don't know. Oh, it was ABBA. Okay. You are the dancing queen. De -de -de. A croc for one is a, is a clog. I never really thought of them as clogs, but that works. They are they are sort of clogs. On the western coast of Hawaii, that's the Kona coast where they grow the coffee beans. Explode is to blow. Uh, whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, oh, no. Ack! Okay. What's this? What's Landers? Is that like Ann Landers? Oh, no. The land, I, I put it in a minute ago. Duh, come on. Uh, so though, they landed on Mars. I think that fits. Okay. Fabric whose name is French for cloth. Uh, Toile, uh, Moire, I don't know. Les Paul uh, invented the, uh, the the electric guitar, or it was a big uh, development of them. And the Les Paul uh, Stratocaster is one of his. Uh, is it Toile? Uh, Toile, is it like that? No, that's a U. That's the fabric. Hmm. No, it's Niels Bohr is the uh, physicist. Science! Um, so let's see. Uh, prominent is, I don't know, noted. A noted figure in the development of the atom. Niels Bohr is prominent. And noted. Okay, totally confused. You are at sea because you are so good. Ah, oh, Ann Landers. <laughs> uh, Ann Patchett and Ann Landers. That's cute. Oh, the Women of Letters. Oh, they, is that they did that on purpose? Is that is that the theme? That's pretty cool. If it is, because Ann Landers was a the uh, 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 is she still around? Advice columnist. It was like a pen name. Uh, there was her name wasn't really Ann Landers. Okay, showstoppers are ads because they stopped the show to show you an ad. Okay, back to the puzzle. Where turn signals are found. Steering columns. All right, Norse Pantheon is uh, as Asgard. No, um, yeah, it's not Asgard. That doesn't fit. Strong, silent type. I don't know. Amateur pediatrician, informally as Doctor Mom or Doctor Dad. Uh, the backside is your bum. Uh, he is richest who is content with the least. Ah. Oh. So if you settle for a little bit, you'll think you have a lot. According to Socrates, speechless expression are emoji. Uh, scratch, say, mar, to mar the surface or something. Um, oh, is it Elsie or something like that? Uh, gooey addition to a charcuterie board is brie. Mm, I like brie. Is this ninja? Strong, silent. Ah, oh, very good. Strong and silent are the ninja. Intrinsic makeup is DNA. Azer, I think I've heard of that. It's like a Norse thing. Uh, I don't know Norse mythology very well at all. Turkish in, I also don't know. Prefix with apology or denial. A non-apology, a non-denial. You can count on it. These are digits. Right, your fingers and your toes and your digits. Surely you don't mean me, moi. Uh, a Bach composition would be a cantata. An elephant or a warthog is an animal. Is a tusk. Tusk. D. Those are, I guess, uh, those are nouns and tusk is an adjective. But I'm going with it until we get something better. A stiff bristle, botanically. 
I don't know that. Science, but I don't know it. Uh, Russell Westbrook is in the NBA. They call him Russ if they're if has. Uh, Serta has the Counting Sheep commercial. C6 is across. One of two pen names punnily hinted at. So is it Ann Landers? Uh, maybe one. Hmm. Oh, Dear Abby would be the other. So Tusker. Oh, Dear Abby. Uh, is, uh, was, was uh, Ann Landers' sister. Uh, the original ones, at least. Um, I don't know if they're still written. Okay, fish hatchlings are row. Oh, no, a fry. Small fry is what it is. Unit of meat or marble is a slab. Um, oh, I don't know Game of Thrones. There's Ned is on that, but this isn't Ned. Uh, ski lift is a T-bar. Uh, massage deeply is Rolf? Roll? Massage deeply. Like, oh, Ralph? That doesn't work, right? Oh, I don't know. Something is wrong. Um, Grammy winners for Jump for My Love. Jump in. Do, 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 do. And tis and sons, jump in, dude. It was the Pointer Sisters. Um, that was before they were uh, so excited and they just couldn't hide it, right? Uh, stiff Bristle Arista? Ariana? Ari... I don't know. Uh, Ari something. Uh, in one's right mind is sane. Okay, let's do that. Revolutionary or Tobacco Road? Uh, Turkish Inn is... I don't know, still. Supplies as a soiree are... I don't know. Uh, put in... Enter? No. Anteed? Like you put into the pot? Uh, not hungry yet, but thanks anyway. Uh, I'm okay. Man, that doesn't seem right. Reds play in Ohio. The Cincinnati Reds play in Ohio. Last name in soft drinks is Mr. Pibb. Uh, Dutch settlers of South Africa will be the Boers. Okay. Um, put in is enter? Like enter the water? Mosquito by nature is a biter. So let's do that. Uh, oh, I ate. No, I'm hungry. Oh, thanks. I ate. Okay. Uh, what is this? Apologies for bothering you. I hate to ask. Uh, is this Arista? Chip in. Oh, that's Auntie. Ha, ha, ha. I thought it was over there. 49 down. It's right here. So apparently a stiff bristle or Arista, or Arista, not Aristocrats. Supplies as a soiree. A soiree is a party. So if you supply to the party, it's a, it's a verb. Supplies is caters. It might be cocked or bent. Your ear. Um, Imaret is a Turkish insert. It looks like minaret, but it isn't. I'm going to look that one up. Massage deeply. Ralph, Rolf, Rolf, Ralph. That doesn't seem right. Serta is definitely right. Rob Stark could be right. Let's put an O in and see what happens. Hey! Do, 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 do. All right, we got some things to look up here, and we're going to. What do we look up first? We look up the we talk, look at the themers. So we have women of letters. We have Ann Landers. We have steering columns. Dear, wait, what? With sixty-seven across. Okay, here we go. With sixty-seven across. So dear and Abby, one of two pen names, punnily hinted at by twenty. 37 and 52 cross. Oh, I get it. Okay. So Ann Landers and Dear Abby. I think Abigail Van Buren. Is that her real name or is that her pen name? And then Ann Landers is also her pen name. But they were sisters and they founded advice columns. And if you read the newspaper, like the actual paper newspaper, every day there'd be a column and people would ask them for advice and then they would write advice. Um... There was also Miss Manners, what it was specifically would be etiquette advice. Uh, I, I don't know if those are still around anymore. Uh, maybe I'll look those up. But anyhow, they are women of letters. They are women that you would write a letter to, right? You send a letter to Ann Landers, care of your news, local newspaper. Uh, so women of letters, you write letters to them. Um, and steering columns, because they wrote a column for the paper that would steer you in the right direction, or, or in the, you know, they would give you some advice. Uh, I don't, was Ann Landers a dear? I think it was Ann Landers. People would write to her, women would write about, oh, my husband this, my husband that, well, uh, what should I do? And she would say, I, I have to answer. She's like, I'll tell you the same thing I tell everyone. You have to ask yourself, am I better off with him or without him? That was like her big question. That It must have been Ann Landers, because I don't think we had Dear Abby when I was a kid, and I think they got her later on. But I think we just had Ann Landers, and the other newspaper had Dear Abby, and then the newspapers merged. I think something like that happened. Or maybe we got two news... I don't know, something like that. Uh, and Pointer Sisters, so that was an 80s uh, uh, '80s pop, pop act, pop band, whatever. Uh, but they are pointing you in the right direction, and they were sisters. So Dear Abby and Ann Landers, so that's why this was... Uh, they were Landers. Uh, ha, do you like that? That's pretty cool. Uh, now, how am I going to come up with a bonus theme one for this? I've been trying to write the bonus themers. Um, I guess Miss Manners, but I gave it away. So, <laughs> uh, is there another, another advice column? 
Not that I can think of. I think I just gave away my bonus lemur by talking it out loud. Oh, and I could do miss and manners. Well, miss would be easy. Manners hard to do. If not. Okay, anyway. Um, <laughs> and I hate to ask this because people would ask questions. And ocean spray has absolutely nothing to do with the theme. It just happens to be right there. <laughs> All right. Uh, I like that. Dear Abby and Ann Landers, can you find the other one? I found it. Uh, good job. By the way, Brad Wiegman was the co uh, constructor for this one. Um, I'm, I'm trying something new with the, with the channel. I'm, I'm not talking as much at the beginning. So I used to do this this whole spiel where I would say, oh, this person is the constructor and I'm the solver. And I, I haven't been doing that the past couple of days because, uh, you know, it's boring. To be honest, I watched a video of myself the other day, which I don't often do. And I was like, oh, dude, get to the puzzle already. This is lame, lame. So that's why I'm, I'm trying to, trying to uh, get to the point sooner. All right. Anyway, I want to look up. What do I want to look up? I want to look up whether Ann Landers and Dear Abby are still a thing. I'm guessing they are. I mean, newspapers are still a thing. Circulation's way down, but they still exist. So I'm guessing these are still uh, are still a thing. So I'm going to look up that. I'm going to look up Cousin It. Are you in the, the Adams Family or the Munsters? I think the Adams Family, but I'm not sure. But there was also something else I didn't know. Arista is a stiff bristle. And Imaret is a Turkish inn. So we got some we got some learning to do. So hopefully you will join me for the learning. Will you? Will you join me on this? Will you join me on this uh not crusade, but will you join me on this this quest to, to learn a few things? We're gonna do that. Alright, so here we go. <laughs> Alright, heading to this window right here. Alright, so first things first. Uh look up Dear Abby. Dear Abby. Dear Abby, there she is! Okay. Thank you, Wikipedia. So, yeah, Dear Abby is still around. Look at that. You're in the Mercury News. You're in NJ.com. You're in Syracuse.com. Chicago Sun-Times. Written by Abigail Van Buren was the pen name. Jean Phillips is now the daughter of Pauline Phillips, who started it. There we go. Oh, my goodness. My son and his fiancée are eloping and having a reception six months later. My sister doesn't know. My husband's demand. Friends won't get hearing aids. We have to get... Oh, these, these are serious advice things. Yeah. So, Dear Abby. And then we're going to look up Ann Landers. Uh, all right. Let's, let's see if Dear Abby um, references Ann Landers. And Dear Abby, 1956, she came with the name... Oh, is Abigail from the Book of Samuel and Martin Van Buren? How do you like that? Syndicated... Over 1,200 newspapers by 1987. She was, oh, wait. So she was married, became Pauline Phillips, but she was born. What was she married? She just changed her name. She was born Pauline Esther Friedman. Her twin sister, Esther Pauline Friedman. Popo and Epi. All right. Yeah. And then twin sister took over the Ask Ann Landers column. Oh. So Ann Landers was already there. And this produced a rival and lengthy estrangement between the sisters. I never knew it was called Ask Ann Landers. I was, it was just called Ann Landers. Um, but that was created by Ruth Crowley and taken over by Epi Letter. Ha! Huh, I didn't know that. So Ann Landers came first and was not by Dear Abby's sister. Ann Landers came first in 1943. And then... Epi Letterer took over Ann Landers, and then the sisters started Dear Abby, and then they didn't like each other. I wonder if they wrote to somebody for advice. What should I do? My sister found it a column that's just like mine. <laughs> okay, anyhow. Um, the Chicago Tribune read both columns. Jewish Women's Archive, Firm but Modern Moral Sensibility. Alrighty, so there we go. We learned a bit about Dear Abby and Ann Landers. I feel I feel smarter already. Uh, and that's stuff that I, I sort of knew, but I didn't know. All right, so Imaret. What in the world is an Imaret? Does it look like it's a Turkish inn? According to this, Imaret. And it is... Stay signed down. Okay. A, how do you pronounce that? Darusiyaf? The public soup kitchens built throughout the Ottoman Empire from the 14th to the 19th centuries. You know, an inn makes it sound like it's a, a classy place to say public soup kitchens, and there's nothing wrong with that, but it just doesn't have the same the same panache to it. But Imaret is a hospice for pilgrims or travelers. Okay. The soup kitchens in the Ottoman Empire. Cool. 
experience. You can go to the Imret Hotel in, uh, I guess it's in Greece. Um, and you can read about it, thanks to Princeton University. Studying Imrets, another way to explore the Ottoman vision of conquest, empire building, and imperial rule. We're part of the multiple Ottoman provisioning systems. Cool. Okay. All right. And uh, what was the other one I was going to look up? It was... Oh, shoot. I forgot to switch back. Sorry. Show you the Imret. There we go. Picture of the Imret. Ah, I'm getting used to this. I, I'm trying to switch things up a little bit. Haven't mastered it yet. Uh, but that's the picture of the Imret. And uh, let's move that. Let get myself out of the way here. Um, there we go. So we can see that picture over there. Now I'll put myself back. Yep. Okay. <laughs> uh, the other one I wanted to look up was uh, Arista. Not Aristocrat. Not Arista Records. I'm guessing that's going to show up. Because right? that was a record label. But, yeah, let's take a look at this one. So this one right here, 46 down. A stiff bristle, botanically. Like maybe some some sea... I don't, I don't know what would have naturally an Arista. But we're going to learn. Yes, we are. Okay, uh, Arista, Arista, Arista Networks, whoops, I spelled it wrong, Arista, Arista Records, Arista Care, Arista, yeah, uh, let's just search for the word Arista, Arista Networks, Cloud Networking Solutions, no, no, should you think about buying it, no, Industrial Computer, Arista Winery, no, Arista Records, no, 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 no. Arista, a bristle-like structure or appendage. Thank you. Not very helpful, but thank you. Let's look in Wikipedia. Wikipedia, Arista. Arista Networks. Okay, let's go to the disambiguation page. All righty. Let's see. Arista, no. No. Inigo Arista of Pamplona. No. Mariano Arista, president of... No. No. Yes! It's an insect thing. Okay. Here we go. It's about invertebrate zoology. There's a synonym in botany, but it's not the one in... Uh, in uh, in plants, it's an invertebrates, a ver simple or variously modified apical or subapical bristle. Got that? Arising from the third antennal segment. Got that? Okay. <laughs> the third antennal segment. This is a Brachycera antenna. And is this the Arista right here, or is that the Arista? Segments one, two, three, and then that is that right? So it's it's this bristle here. This thing over here is the okay. Sometimes no more than a simple bristle, pubescent, covered in short hairs, or plumose, covered in long hairs. Okay. Oh, flies! Flies have aristas. Okay. Arist of an arista, single arista. Okay. Often covered in multiple kinds of sensor or sense organs, such as chemo, hygro, and thermoreceptors. Cool, they have hygro, they can sense water. That's cool, they have little water sensors on their antenna. Clever, we don't have those. Oh, I'm a little bit jealous, just a little bit. Uh, I am no entomologist, but there we go. Uh, displaying an Arista Brachycera antenna. Okay. What do we have there? Ah. Okay, reduced antenna segmentation in the Brachycera. All right, so now we learned about the Arista. You feel smarter? I do. <laughs> I also feel like it's time to say farewell. All right, so one last look at the puzzle. Uh, is there anything else that I missed? I think that's pretty darn good. I think that's pretty darn good. We have Ann Landers and Dear Abby is the, uh, is the theme. I kind of like that one. All righty. I think that is it. So it's time to say farewell. Thank you. Thank you so much for being a part of the puzzle. Part of the puzzle. Part of the channel. Uh, if you have not yet um, subscribed, please do. Just go boop and click that subscribe. Uh, or you can click the Steve head right there. If you want to watch another video, there's another video for you right there. And I will see you in the future. Have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful day. Bye-bye.